So I want to take a minute and talk about the movie Joker and the weirdness about this movie because the more I thought about this movie, it's kind of clicking together for me. Now at first I was like really hesitant because you know, Joker is a movie that's really easy to make fun of. You know, you got the fact that it's nominated for 11 Oscars. The film stars a very memeable character, a movie about society, a movie, you know, all of that stuff. But it actually, it actually starts to make sense. Todd Phillips, the director of this movie, he used to make these, these funny comedy movies about dudes and they go around and they do shit. The thing is, he's been making these movies for nearly 15 years. He started making movies about colleges and shit. Then he made Old School, which is personally one of my favorite films of his. Then he goes on to make films like that for the next decade. Then he makes the Hangover Trilogy. Then he makes that movie with Jonah Hill. Then he makes Joker. Now that seems like a weird stretch, right? Like, he makes 15 years of these comedies, and then he switches to Joker. I mean, what's the deal with that? He came up with this project. In an interview about it, he was talking about how comedy is so hard to do now because the world has changed. Society has changed. So inevitably, Todd Phillips had to either A, figure out something else, or die. Even Adam McKay, one of the most prolific filmmakers of that genre of film, decided, you know what, fuck this, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make an anti-Dick Cheney movie. So Adam McKay does that, he makes the switch, right, from making comedies to making serious film, and then he wins Best Original Screenplay at the Oscars for The Big Short. His first dramatic turn into, you know, new waters, and he wins an Oscar. The Farley Brothers, remember those guys, they made Dumb and Dumber? Peter Farley won Best Picture last year for Green Book. Remember that? So Todd Phillips knew, like, hmm, you know what? I gotta change it up. I can't do this forever. So he makes Joker with, with Joaquin Phoenix in the role. The irony about that with, you know, Joker is that Todd Phillips is basically Joker. Society is changing around him rapidly. And before you know it, society is beating you down. He knew that these movies were failing because society was changing. So what did he do? He made this movie about society itself and about the change that's gone about it throughout the decade. He started out the decade with The Hangover and then he ends the decade with, you know, it's so different from anything else because Todd Phillips is like, fuck it, just fuck it. Joker, when he becomes the Joker in the movie, he's kind of like, fuck it. Everybody's up against me. Nobody is there for him. No one is, is there to support him. Something just sort of clicked in his head, and he decided that he was going to become the Joker. Todd Phillips had the same decision. Something clicked in his head, and he decided, fuck it, I'm going to make this movie. He changed himself because society around him was changing. And here's, here's the thing, right? Joker in the movie becomes this advocate for let's kill the rich, let's rise up. They're not treating us right. The rich people are the ones to blame. Todd Phillips makes this movie about Joker. Joker is this movie about how society beats people down and makes them so that they kill the rich. This film about killing the rich got nominated for 11 Oscars. Basically, Todd Phillips played right into the hand of society by changing what he did. He plays right into the hand of the Oscars by making a film about killing the rich. Todd Phillips this guy who was ruined by apparently like what is it woke culture played right into the hand of woke culture by making this movie and it worked he got nominated for 11 oscars the most of any film this year jesus man this movie todd phillips is god <laughs> Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? It's so I different from anything else because Todd Phillips is like, fuck it. Just F this shit because I don't want to offend you. And a lot of people are like that. Joaquin and I went to theaters around New York the night it opened and there were six cop cars parked outside of every theater. There were armed cop police in the theaters. And we're like, okay, this is what we're up against for real. But this was something that was created, not to sound like a wacko, but sort of was created by the media. Um, Why? 